This is Hydrogen Tap. What you're looking at here is an interesting experiment. As you can see, I'm running uh, 105.6 volts through the focus cell. And on the left, you'll see the amps 0.29. I've lowered the amps by pulsing the circuit through some coils. So essentially I'm doing what Myers was presented to have been doing, but I'm only using 105 volts. So right now I can't make any rash judgments on it because I want to go up to about 800, but at least now you can see how easy it is to bring the amps down. I've put about an eighth of a teaspoon of lye in this which at 105 volts you saw last time that would have that would have brought the amperage over enough to blow all the fuses and we'd be having hydrogen come up uh, coming off the top a lot of hydrogen but by using the two coils in a pulse system what we've done essentially is lower the amps down to 28.28 uh, .28 amps and I'll let you see what the inside looks like here you can see there is very very little action going on and I've got an eighth of a teaspoon of lye in there so we're talking about 106 volts and you saw if you went back or if you go back to the last video what 106 or actually 120 volts will do. This would have, uh, you'd see nothing but foam coming off the top. If you want to go to my site hydrogentap.com you can see more about the focus cell. Or you can write me at John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. Probably you've noticed by now I mention the Hydrogen Tap site a lot more times than I used to. And that is because people are taking my videos and putting their name under them. It really burns me up. So what I'm doing is marking the videos with my name and hopefully that'll show at least the people that visit those sites that it's not in fact their videos it's mine it's not a matter of jealousy it's a matter of work when you do some work you like credit for it at least back to the subject at hand we're talking about 0.28 amps at 106.4 volts. And what I'm doing is pulsing that. Actually the frequency is uh, 22.86 and you can see there's really nothing happening now. If I go to the next frequency or a few frequencies up, we're going to allow the amperage back in here and we're going to see an explosion of hydrogen, but that's not really what we're after. What we're after is, according to Myers, lowering the amperage to nothing and just having the voltage do the work. Now these plates are an eighth of an inch apart and probably they need to be a sixteenth of an inch apart. The focus cell runs on an eighth of an inch apart, although you can change it because I put two nylon washers in between there instead of one. So you can take one out and you'll have a sixteenth.
what I've done now is bring it up to 1.13 amps and we're at uh, 100 again 105.80 volts and you'll see more action here but again we're sh the more amps we put in there obviously the more action we're going to see in the cell so the Myers trick is to just put voltage across it I am getting ready to get some high voltage transformer so I can do that hopefully this answers a few questions of course it gives us more questions than it answers so this is running uh, 1.12 amps at 105.80 volts what I'm doing is I'm running it I'm running it through a pulse cir circuit view of the bridge that I'm using and uh, for those of you new at it or those of you who want to see what it really looks like there it is they're pretty cheap they're like I don't know four or five bucks you can see this shaved portion here this is plus and this will be the the shave portion is on the plus side this is the negative side and these two are the input AC inputs so what I've done here is I've taken 110 volts straight off the house current the wall socket put it across here now I get DC out of this plus and minus and that's taken straight into the cell through a pulse system to bring down the amps. If I didn't have the pulse system in there right now with one eighth of a teaspoon of lye, this would be totally, it would blow the circuit breakers and there'd be hydrogen coming out the, the yin yang. Whenever you fool with house currents, you better be careful. I suggest nobody do it who has not had any experience. If you touch 110 volts AC, you will electrocute yourself. Do not do that. Do not do this unless somebody you you are a person who knows what they're doing. Again, if you touch the AC both sides, you will electrocute yourself. Do not try this. So that's what's going on here. There is another thing you should remember, and that is the AC. What now? What we're doing is flattening it out, but we're getting a pulse because AC goes to zero, goes to 110 or 120, whatever it happens to be, and then comes back to zero, and then goes minus 110 or 20, and then goes to zero. What I've done is flattened that out, so we still go to zero, so it's still pulsing. So I'm taking that and running it into another pulse circuit. And what that does is enable us to bring down the amps. It's going through a set of coils to do that. Really, So there's really not enough uh, hydrogen coming out of this at 0.28 amps. You look you can see pretty close what's going on this is not doing the trick this is not making hydrogen by using the capacitance arrangement first of all we don't have enough voltage going through here I will but you can see that it is cutting down the amperage and there's a way of doing that very easily and that's by running through coils and pulsing it. 